Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Cherry Studio and today I'm going to be looking at Dolphin Emulator on Android and showing you where to find all the advanced settings to help make your games run smoother. Maybe your games aren't running fast enough or maybe you want them to look a little bit better because you have a better phone. Now the phone that I use for this is the Xiaomi Mi 10T Lite 5G with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 750G. So maybe you have a better phone, maybe you have a phone that's not as good as mine and you want to improve a couple of settings. So I'm gonna show you where to find them today. So for the examples, we're gonna use GameCube game Super Mario Sunshine and Nintendo Wii game Super Mario Bros Wii. So first we're gonna take a look at the general settings which you can find by touching this little cog thing at the top right here. And I'll bring up all the settings available there. So if you go into general, you want to make sure that the dual core is switched on and that the speed limit is set to 100% and go back there. Now in this menu, there's just going to be a few general settings that aren't going to change the graphics too much, but there are a few things you can do that can improve the performance of your games. For example, in the Wii menu, you can change everything to widescreen and change the aspect ratio from 4.3 to 16.9, which means all games will be in widescreen. And you can also use power 60 mode, which changes the refresh rate from 50 hertz to 60 hertz in FPS. If you want that smooth, silky 60 frames per second. Other than that, there's not much in this general settings one, so I don't really use that. But what you want to find are the advanced graphic settings. Now, to get that, you're going to have to change it for each game individually. So if you hold down on the game, it'll bring up a separate menu here where it has core settings, GFX settings, details, and things like that. The GameCube control settings, Wii control settings, all that. You can save them individually for each game. So if we go to core settings here, that'll take you back to the menu that we just saw. Or if you hold it again, and we go to GFX settings, now we can change settings in here. The first one is the video backend, which you can choose between OpenGL, Vulkan, Software, or no. Now, what a video backend is, is just like on a computer, you can have DirectX, Vulkan, or OpenGL normally. Software and no usually don't wield the best results. What you want is either OpenGL or Vulkan. I can't tell you what is the best for your phone. Some games I found run well on Vulkan, some games run well on OpenGL. You have to just play the game and check each one and decide. For example, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, I found runs a lot smoother on Vulkan than it did OpenGL, but Super Mario Sunshine, that run a lot better on OpenGL. The next thing you can do is the shader compilation mode, which is currently set to synchronous, which is by far the best one, which is by far the best one for performance, but not the best one for quality. So if you have a much better phone, I'd highly recommend using Uber shaders with synchronous on that is going to cost high GPU performance. So if your phone is definitely chugging along you want to change that to synchronous and if your game is really really chugging along because your phone cannot handle it i'd try asynchronous skip drawing now if you use this it's probably going to bring in some poor results as it says there and it's probably going to have some visual glitches and textures not being drawn in all the time but the game will run a lot smoother so the one i recommend is synchronous the next thing I always click is compile shaders before starting. Now this is going to cause a delay when the game actually starts up because it's going to compile all the shaders that it has in your cache to make sure that the game doesn't stutter so much. I always have this on on PC and on the phone. It takes a couple of minutes to compile it together. It doesn't take that long and it really does help with performance here. But if you've got a phone that's powerful enough, then you can just turn that off. The next thing you can do is to go down to the enhancement section in the graphics one and the internal resolution here. Now, if you have a phone that will definitely support it, you can have up to 4K. I currently just use the internal native resolution because the screen, phone screen is very small and it's not going to make that much of a difference if I put it up to 1080p on the phone. Whereas on the computer, I like to boost it all the way up to 1080p. And the rest of them, I just keep default and keep them off as possible. But if you want to improve the look, if you have the phone that has the power to do it, then I highly suggest messing around with these settings here and to see which ones produce the best outcome, such as anti-aliasing and isotropic filtering. Once, you, once you've done that, back out and it will save the settings for that game. 
And if we go on to the Super Mario Sunshine one, as you can see, the video backend there is OpenGL and it's all set to start again. So every time you open a game, you're going to have to do this to find the best graphical settings. So let's take a look at how Super Mario Sunshine runs with the settings that I have on. So now that we're in the game and we can see that the widescreen hack isn't working very well. So what we can do while we're in the game is press the back button and this will bring up a config setting here where we can change various different settings. We go to graphic settings, some things we can't change like the video backend because that's already running. We go down to enhancements down here, check again to see if the widescreen hack is on. It's not working, so let's take that off. Save it. Go back to the graphic settings again, and where it says aspects ratio also. Let's try for let's try for 16 by 9, and we can make changes like that. Obviously, that doesn't look very good. <laughs> it's not as good as the old widescreen hack, but it still is taking up the full side of my screen. Now in this set now in this mode we can change a lot of things while the game is playing and just mess around with the overall graphic settings and anything that is available here. Change the shader compilation. Mess around with the anti-aliasing. So if I put everything up to top notch quality, we can then see how detrimental this is to the game. So while we're playing the game, we can actually mess around with a lot of the stuff. Let's try that again with that on 416. Back in multi threading, it's on Vulcan only. Okay, let's go back, let's go through the hacks, see what we can just put stuff on. Let's put it on high GPU texture decoding, the core texture GPU computers. Okay, let's try that. See, I'm just messing around with the settings just to see what that does to the actual game. So it was running smooth as you liked before. It's recompiling the shaders now that I'm using different types. While it does that, if you've liked this video and you find this video useful, then please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm gonna be doing plenty of Android emulation videos in the future. I'm currently working on Dolphin now, but if there are any other emulators that you want me to check out or you want some tutorials on how to make run best on your phone, then please let me know in the comments down below. Now I put all that extra stuff on there. Let's see how slow the game runs now. So at 1080p, so they got games running. 1080p, we're getting a lot of frame drop. When they're speaking for some reason. Seems to speed up when they're not speaking, but not what happens. It's going to take forever to get through this. So I'll just skip to the bit where it gets over and we'll see how it runs in practice but that's probably going to mean that i'm going to turn the resolution down a bit yep 14 15 frames per second in 1080p although it does look absolutely beautiful it's not running very well is it so once again press the back button graphic settings and let's go to enhancements internal resolution knock it down to maybe maybe 720 will work fine And it's running all right, actually, 25 frames per second. That is, that people may be like, oh, 25 frames per second. Well, that's bad, but remember, games did run at 25 frames per second back in the day, and it looks a lot better and a lot smoother than it did. Let's show you what it looks like in the internal resolution. There's still stutter in the audio, as you can see. It's not running completely well. If we go to enhancements, internal resolution, knock it down to the original and it's a lot more jagged than resolution it isn't as clear although it's not entirely noticeable it's not the biggest of problems and the biggest of deal breakers but the game itself oh bit of stutter there the game itself is completely playable and i reckon i could complete the game playing it on this phone so if you let's see this in practice on super mario bros Wii. again compiling all the shaders now this is a nintendo wii game it's going to be a lot more graphically intensive than the gamecube game so we're not going to be able to do much but if it isn't running well 
we can do a few things to sort that out as well. So let's jump up here where we're safe. Okay. So you see the game is running pretty smooth on this phone already. So if we go to the graphics settings here, it is the same layup. I'm running on Vulcan on this one. Shader compilation is set to synchronous. Let's say it wasn't working too well. I'm going to change it to asynchronous there. And then if we go into the enhancement section, internal resolution set to native. We can make sure that all that is off and down. Or if I had a much better phone, I could go through these settings and test things out. For example, I could test out whether the resolution would work better if I could get it in 4K or 1080p. I know for a fact if I do it on this game, it is definitely not going to run smooth. But say if I wanted to put some anti-aliasing on to make it smooth out those edges, I can check it out. And it'll reload the game with the shaders. And there we go. So it's still running pretty pretty alright with that anti scuff with the So it's still look so it's still running pretty alright with that anti aliasing on. Oh it does seem to skip a little bit every now and again. But it's completely playable. Let's change the resolution up. Let's see if we can get away. So we're right on the cusp here of 60 frames per second. So let's see if we can get away with. Let's see if we can get away with a higher resolution. Let's try 720p. And no, we absolutely cannot get away with 720p on this on this phone. 22 frames per second. And that's even with. So let's have a little mess around. <laughs> See if we can do a couple of things. Uh, I mean, I don't know why you would want this, but if we go to enhancements again, uh, take off per pixel lighting, because that's going to take a lot off it. Uh, arbitrary mipmap detection. I'm going to keep that on. I'm going to go back. Let's go to hacks. Let's try skip EFB access from CPU. Let's just take a couple of these out. Text to cache accuracy. there. Let's put that on low. Now this is going to probably create a couple of problems, but I might be able to just play the game at a higher resolution. Let's try that again. It's compiling all the shaders. And it's now gone from playable. It looks fantastic in HD. It looks amazing, but there is no way that it's going to play. At that speed, let's let's take that off. Graphic settings. Let's move ourselves back down to regular resolution. Let's put on regular resolution. Let's turn the anti-aliasing up to eight times and the and isotropic filtering. Let's try that at just at four times. Let's see how that works. Ah, see that one works. It's just the resolution looks blocky. But it runs and plays smooth still. So like I said, it's a case of just going through these settings, turning them off and on, and seeing how it affects the game as you play it. Now, you could make the games look really good, or you can make them run as smooth as you like using these settings. This will not, however, guarantee that a game will work on your phone, because if your phone isn't powerful enough to run the emulator or to run the games, then it's not going to magically run. There is no magic potato mold, so to speak. There are certain things in this emulator that can help make the games run faster, but like I said, if you've not got the phone that's powerful enough to do it, then it's not going to run. It's a case of just testing it out. And that's it for this video. If you liked this video, then please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you want more videos on Android emulation, let me know down in the comments which emulators you'd like me to cover, and which emulators you'd like to know how to run better on your phone. I also have videos on how to set up your PlayStation and Xbox controllers on your Android phone, and I also use RetroPie emulation with the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to be making plenty of tutorials and videos on that coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel. Remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do.